And we normally don't do this, but we must talk about some news here. Breaking news. Yeah, I'm not going to be on Observer Live tomorrow. Mm. I don't work Fridays no more. Come on. But, I mean, I got to talk about Okada. We got to talk about Okada. So what's going on? Well, Pierce, he's going to be unemployed soon. Uh, he's not going to be unemployed. <laughs> it was announced on <laughs> <Technically>. Thursday <laughs> that Okada Kazuchika... You know, it's funny... Ah, I've told this story a thousand times. You know he was on our show and he called himself Kazuchika Okada? I'm... And people get outraged if you don't call him Kazuchika Okada. And then meanwhile, you know, on uh, Raw Monday, you know, comes old, you know, Gunter, as they call him, as the Americans call him. And he's there with, uh, you know, what's his face? Ludwig. Ludwig Borga. Kaiser. Kaiser, not Ludwig Borga. That would, be that would also be news. And all the Americans call him Lud Ludwig. Yes, yes. And then, uh, you know, out comes Gunter, and he says, Ludwig! <laughs> and he puts over Ludwig. He did, the Austri Austrian. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, as he as he called himself on a show with us, Kazuchika Okada, his, uh, his contract expires at the end of January. Sports Illustrated reported he is seriously entertaining the idea of signing with WWE. You don't say. The breaking <laughs> news. Okada will be leaving New Japan Pro Wrestling after the conclusion of his contract. January 31, 2024, wrote New Japan. We apologize to fans for the abrupt nature of this announcement, but join them in wishing Okada the very best in his future. And New Japan stated, I have, or he said to New Japan, this is Okada's statement, I have nothing but gratitude for having been a part of New Japan Pro Wrestling since 2007. And for New Japan bringing me from a 19-year-old kid off the plane in Mexico to the rainmaker I am today. Thank you to the best of companies in New Japan, to the best of opponents I've been able to face here, and the best of fans that have cheered and booed over the years. I promise to make it rain in every match I have left, so keep watching. He will still compete at three New Japan events in February. New beginning in Osaka, February 11. New beginning in Sapporo on February 23rd. And Saturday, February 24th. So he is going to make those dates. He is currently never open weight six man tag champ with Tanahashi and Ishii. And uh, of course, a five time IWGP champion, two time world heavyweight champion. 2021 inductee into the Wrestling Observer Hall of Fame. So there had been, you know, rumors for a long time. Well, maybe Okada is going to leave. And uh, I won't lie. I always said. I think it's very, very, very unlikely for a lot of reasons. And one of the reasons is, uh, you know, he'd, uh, he'd, been, he'd been thinking about leaving once, and then there was a meeting with New Japan, and then he wasn't thinking about leaving anymore. Mm. And it wasn't because he was offered, like, a lot of money. I mean, I don't know exactly what he was making, but, you know, people today were like, this is the most underpaid, greatest wrestler of all time ever. So whatever he was making, I mean, if you compare it to like what the top stars are making in America today, I mean, he's grossly, grossly underpaid in New Japan. And, you know, he's done a lot of shows for AEW and don't think he doesn't know what they're making there. Mm -hmm. They're making a lot of money. Now, the other thing is that his wife is a is a famous actress, actor, a female actor. I don't know if you call them actresses anymore. She's a female actor. And, uh, you know, so it was kind of like, well, you know, she doesn't speak English. So are, is he really going to pack up and, and come to America? And uh, is she going to have to walk away from all that? Well, she's actually a apparently a voice actor. So, I mean, if you're a voice actor, you don't necessarily... I mean, you can do that from anywhere. You can do that, yes. I mean, a lot of people do voiceovers. I mean, they just... If you're a, if you're a, if you're a voiceover superstar, you can be on the moon. Just get a good mic, good recording equipment. It doesn't matter. So I think that she can do her job from anywhere, and uh, and that's that. Now Tony Khan did a tweet today, and he talked about how it's going to be an amazing 2024, and uh, it is certainly believe that AEW is the front runner for it, for uh, Okada, that he likely will end up in AEW. But I. Uh, I can tell you that he is he is going to be negotiating with many different people. So I would not say that it's a lock that he's going to AEW. I would say it's very likely that he's going to AEW. But it's not like WWE ain't throwing a lot of money around. 
And it's not like WWE has no interest in Okada. Trust me, they have interest. To the point where if you think that it's like some coincidence that Nakamura kept saying that he was going to bring chaos mm. to WWE, I mean, things like that are not a coincidence. It was like when he did that uh, that GTS for a few weeks. And then the next thing you know, we've got... Uh, that was right around the time. That GTS that he was doing was right around the time they were negotiating with CM Punk. And then everything with Punk fell through, and he stopped doing the GTS. And then negotiations started up again, and CM Punk returned at uh, at Survivor Series. So it is no coincidence Nakamura's talked about chaos. And uh, there is a chance that he would end up in WWE. But it seems very likely he's going to AEW. But that's a big story. Let me tell you. It really is. Okada leaving New Japan and very likely going to America. And quite frankly, I mean, you know, I don't know how much they would use him in the sense that, you know, Will Ospreay is being allowed to stay in England if he wants to. He's going to fly over every time they need him. Okay. And at AEW, like a lot of people, you know, they're they're just flown in every week whether they're going to be used or not. And obviously, if you live in England, you're not being flown in every week. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're going to bring you in when they need you. And, you know, if I don't know what AEW would say about it, but, I mean, obviously, they would be far more open to the idea of him being allowed to live in Japan and come in when he's needed, as opposed to having to move to, like, if, he's, if he goes to WWE, he's, he's moving to America. Yes. They're not letting him live in, in Japan. Mm-hmm. So, we'll find out soon enough, everybody, where he's going, but seems that AEW would be the front runner. I just want to point out that uh, Dijak, and I have now misplaced his tweet, so I can't find exactly what he said, but he implied that uh, Okada lost a match to Shane Haste, and his whole world, world fell apart. <laughs> okay, that's why he left. And apparently, yes. Yes. Well, yeah, I don't have a lot to add. Uh, he's, you know, had the uh, best run of big matches of just about anyone. And uh, when Craig was so excited, he shared the news in our text thread. Yeah, I got like 10 texts all at the same time. Yes. And uh, I just pointed out, I mean, the one thing is he has done everything he can do in New Japan. If he wants to try something new, he has to, he has to go elsewhere. And uh, it appears that's what's going to happen. So. And hey, one other thing, because somebody tweeted this. I pray to God he doesn't go to the Fed. Hey, listen. First of all, it has been the Fed in decades. It hasn't been the Fed in decades, and it is not the Fed of three years ago. Yeah. Okay? I've said this a thousand times. If you watch WWE on SmackDown, the top act on SmackDown, when Roman Reigns is not in the building, is damage control. And it's Io Shirai, and it's uh, Kyrie, yes. and it's Asuka, and, you know, Kyrie speaks virtually no English. Asuka, doesn't matter if she can speak English, she speaks in Japanese anyway. Io speaks almost no English. They are the top pushed women's act on the most watched WWE show, okay? If you think that they wouldn't do anything with Okada, if you think that he wouldn't be a world champion and a top-tier main eventer, think again, okay? This is not Vince's WWE. He's gone, okay? And Hunter would push this guy to the moon, and he would have to push him to the moon because they would pay... He, this guy, This guy will no longer be... The most underpaid, all-time great of all time. He's about to get his due. Mm-hmm. So good luck to the, good luck to him. All the best. Yeah, he's earned it. I yes. Say that. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.